God is in the habit of doing good to his children. If you're someone who has lost years or wasted years, and all you do now is pray and hope God will restore those years, I'm here to tell you that it's possible to get restoration from God. You may be crying, wishing and hoping. You may even be regretting the things you've done in the past. But let me tell you, God is a God of restoration. You may think it's too late for you, but God can always compress time on your behalf and for your sake. Most of us have experienced the loss of something we consider precious to us, whether it's a relationship, health, a job, or something else that we hold dear. Not only can God wipe away our past, but He can restore and replace what has been destroyed or lost. Do you believe that? As a believer, you need to understand what restoration is and what you want God to restore. To be restored is to be brought back to the right place. Also, to be restored is to be brought back to the right condition. Think of a runaway teenager returning to the loving home of his family. He becomes restored. Think about the prodigal son who left home for a strange land and squandered everything his father gave him. He wasted years, but when he later came back to his senses, he went back to his father, and his father restored him. The problem is not if God will restore you. The problem is, are you ready to be restored? This desire or need to be restored is a theme throughout the Bible. The psalmists cry out, quote, How long, O Lord, until you restore me? Psalm 6, verse 3. Quote, Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and make me willing to obey you. End quote. Psalm 51, verse 12. Quote, I have suffered much. O Lord, restore my life as you promised. End quote. Psalm 119, verse 107. The prophets pleaded with God, quote, Turn me again to you and restore me, for you alone are the Lord my God. End quote. Jeremiah 31, verse 18. Quote, restore us, O Lord, and bring us back to you again. End quote. You may be looking for restoration for your relationship with God, family, business academics, and so on. God is telling you today, your restoration has come. God is not a waster. Even if you've wasted your life doing things that will not please Him, He still will not approve of waste. That is why He goes out to restore His children to their place. It is the place of His children to be above and not beneath. Restoration is only mentioned when there's a shift when people have lost years or lost out in the blessings they're supposed to have. One of the ways God will restore you is through His Word. The antidote to life and wasted years can only be found in the reality of God's Word. That is why the Bible mentioned in Joel 2 verse 25 to 26, And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. This is the word of the Lord, and the words of God does not come and return to him void, without accomplishing all that it is said to do. His promises are yes and amen, meaning they are sure. All the years the canker worm and the caterpillar have stolen will be restored. All the years you've cried and beat yourself about will be restored to you. He said in Isaiah 61 verse 7, quote, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. End quote. God is not a man that he should lie. Cry no more. 
because God will restore all the years you've lost. It may be a few years or even plenty of years. It doesn't matter. God will restore all to you. So don't worry. The God of restoration has come to visit you today. Another way God will be restoring you is through your health. He shall be restoring your health. Sickness and disease is not the plan of God for your life. It's never his wish for his child to be sick, let alone inflicted with so much pain. Because he took our sickness and disease and bore our infirmities, and by his strip we are healed. So you might have struggled with your health for a long time, and you've wondered whether God still heals. Let me inform you today that God still heals and delivers people from pain. Restoration has come for your health in Jesus' name. The Bible made us understand in Jeremiah 30 verse 17, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. His promise is sure, so be rest assured that your healing and health will be restored to you in Jesus' name. Just like the story of the women with the issue of blood, for years this woman struggled with that sickness and had spent a lot on treatment, but no answer came forth. But when she came in contact with God, she was made completely whole. You might have spent a lot going from one doctor to another, but I'm here to tell you today that God will restore all, including the money you've spent. What about Job, a man that was tested with sickness and disease? He lost everything, including his children, because of the sickness he had. But when God healed him, he restored along his wealth and all that he had lost. This is to tell you that God is in the business of restoring things to their original positions. Job 42 verse 10 says, quote, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. End quote. The biggest thing to lose is the joy of your salvation, because salvation is what gives us access to the Father. Imagine serving God without joy, but the psalmist speaking, quote, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. End quote. The joy of salvation is like the salt in the Christian life. If you lose it, you may not enjoy your Christian journey. That's why your joy must always be full. So if at any point you've lost years of enjoying the joy of the Lord, let me make you know today that God is restoring every bit of those times. Do not beat yourself too hard, because God has already taken charge of your life. This season, your joy will be restored to the fullest. It's the joy you have that helps you to withstand challenges and troubles when they come. That is why it's very important to have the joy of your salvation. It is your own, so you should always have it. Imagine you have a phone, but it's not always with you, or it's always with a friend of yours instead of being with you. That is a similar scenario with the joy of your salvation. The next way God will restore wasted years for you is through open doors. The thing about God is, you may be thinking that you've lost years or you have a lot of delays, but do not worry, because when the Lord will be restoring you, it will come with a lot of open doors. A lot of doors will begin to open up to you. Opportunities you've not looked for will begin to look for you. People you thought have forgotten you will begin to remember you. It'll be like the wind of remembrance has been blown toward your direction. Then you will know that the hand of God is upon you. God can restore lost years by multiplying your fruitfulness. The harvests for these people in Joel 2 verse 25 had been wiped out for four years. But God restored the years that the locusts had eaten by giving bumper harvests. 
This provision makes me think about the parable where Jesus spoke about a harvest that could be 30, 60 or 100 fold. There's a huge difference between these three harvests. Three years at 100 fold is as much fruit as a decade at 30 fold. Why not ask him for this? Quote, Lord, the locusts have eaten too many years of our lives. You have called us as your disciples to bear fruit that will last. Too many fruitless years have passed. Now, Lord, we ask of you, give us some years now in which more lasting fruit will be born than in all of the years of small harvests. End quote. God can restore lost years by deepening your communion with Christ. Quote, you shall know that I am amid Israel and that I am the Lord your God. End quote. Joel 2 verse 27. These people who've endured so much enjoy a communion with the Lord that's far greater than anything they'd ever known before in their religious lives. Christ can restore lost years by deepening your fellowship and relationship with Him. Why not ask Him for this? Tell Him, quote, Lord, I've spent too many years without You, too many years at a distance from You. Fill my heart with love and gratitude for Christ. Let the loss of these years make my love for Christ greater than it ever would have been. Restore to me the years the locusts have eaten. Let restoration bring you closer to God.